I hate it had to end like this. A torturous fate by any measure. I can still cast Shatter. Better than nothing later. Take me there. It is the smell that strikes you first. Spiced ceremonial oils cut through with the copper tang of blood. In the candlelight, Sevlor might almost be sleeping. Oh his no. His empty eyes stare. His lips slack around a curl of parchment, poking through like a yellow tongue. Zevlor was the first tiefling we met uh, right outside the Druid village. Grand Infernal Painting. Desperation is the obverse of wisdom. Sevlor was always destined to fail his people, and to fail us. Once again, your mind opens to Lazel. More writings on Orpheus, the Prince of the Comet. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through. Vlacketh's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet oh, will liberate Lizelle. us from Vlacketh's tyranny. AKA Bezo. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. Vlacketh has reigned unchallenged for millennia. Freeing Orpheus could be the first strike in a new war, as well as its last. All right, I'm done talking. I don't know how well I'm asleep. Oh. Emperor, hello. How did you? It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. Its rebellion against Orin and Gortash has been fierce, even as it executes their final orders. Once those orders are complete, there is a good chance it will break free. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? 
the mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't unwelcome. Apologize. I didn't mean to burden you with my woes. You have enough to worry about. As your eyes blink shut, you fall into the deepest slumber of your life. A quietness so vast it feels almost like death. thought you were my first in a way but not the way you're thinking of in life she was my business partner back when we ran the knights of the shield a difficult task for a mind flayer duke stelmain trusted me and the city trusted her i concede the plot but Berlin took center stage it was she who met with the merchants politicians and patriarchs it was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. We gotta get out of this fucking cave again.
for sure. Something good here. I hope. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yep, I'm dead. No. I mean, you don't have to do that. If you want to come revive me, but I'm in a flap kill right now. I'm dead, dead. There's like a chest over here and stuff. If you got a spell of wind, a gust. Well, I'm dead, dead. <laughs> so yeah, the cloud kills over here. If somebody can get rid of the cloud, go. Oh. Yeah, I am just on the other side of the cloud, though. 